In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create video backgrounds in Elementor Pro. So this is what we're trying to achieve. Now, what I've also done here is when it comes to the mobile size, I've swapped this for an image. So you can see now I've added an image there. So what you need to do is you need to download a video or create a video, upload it onto say YouTube, and then you want to grab the URL. So I'm on so I'm over here on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna grab this uh, URL. All right, so over here, I've opened up my page and the first thing I'm going to do is to add a container. I'm gonna click on this plus button and choose this very first one. I'm using Flexbox for this. I really find it very, very flexible to use. So what I'm going to do next is to head over here onto these little dots here. And I'm going to change my minimum height because I want this to cover the whole screen of any device that anyone's going to view this on. So to do that, I want to click here on this drop down and choose VH. I'm going to set this to 100. So this is going to cover the whole screen. Next, I want that any content that I add onto this page is centered. So I'm going to click here. And if I start adding all my content, it's going to be centered over here. The next thing now I need to do is to add my background. So I'm going to come over here to style. Next, I'm gonna come over here, and this time I'm gonna click on video, because we're normally used to adding background colors and uh, gradients. So I've chosen a video here, and then over here is where I need to copy my URL from here, and then paste it right here like that. So now I have my video in the, in the background. Sometimes when we add text over here, it may be not um, contrasting very well with the video. So what we need to do is to scroll down here and go to background overlay. So here we can uh, choose our color by clicking here on classic. And I'm going to go for a color. So I'm going to click here. And you can see when I start moving this around that uh, the overlay is being added. Now I normally go with black. I mean, it's just great when you use white text. So now that I have this all set, I'm just gonna hit update. And then I'm gonna start adding all my content that goes into the center of this page. So I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna load my text first. So I'm gonna drag and drop it here. And then I'm just gonna center it. So what I'm going to do next is to just uh, update my title here. But obviously right now we can't really see this text. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna come over here onto style and I'm gonna change my text color by clicking here and just choosing white. Next, I am going to also customize this further by coming over here to typography. And I'm just gonna add some letter spacing. So let's go with um, six. And I'm also going to make this bold. So I'm gonna come over here and set this to bold. Now it's time to add my description text. So I'm gonna come over here and just drag and drop it here as well. Again, I'm gonna come over here to my style and just make sure my text here is set to white. I'm gonna go to text color, set this to white. I'm also going to reduce the width of this text by coming over here to advanced and then changing this from default to custom. And I'm just gonna set this to, let's go with say 60 or 62, center this. Finally, I'm gonna need a call to action button here. So I'm gonna come back, drag my button here and drop it. So now I have my call to action. All I need to do is to center it and then change this to find out more. So now that we have our text in place, I'm gonna come back over here. It's important that we have a fallback image just in case something goes wrong and the video doesn't work. So to add our fallback image, I'm just gonna come back over here and you say here it says background fallback, uh, choose my image by clicking here. And I already have an image here in my media library. I'm just gonna select that and then insert media. So that's gonna be my fallback image. But what I'm also going to do here is, first of all, we need to test and see if this is working on all devices. So let's take a look here by clicking on responsive mode. And I'm gonna go for the tablet. And I can see here in the tablet, everything looks great. Now over here, I have a fallback image. So this is why it's important that we have this fallback image. So now let me just go back over here. So all we have to do now is to click update and take a quick preview of our page. And pretty much this is how you add a video background onto your web designs. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're brand new to web design, I have a free course. Link to that is in the video description below. See you soon. Take care.